Welcome back to Let's Play Captain Comic, and welcome to the Moon Base. As you can see, this level brings the return of the Bug Eyes, and a new enemy type that actually differs significantly from those we've seen before. The Glow Globes roll along the ground, and as such, are too low to hit with the Fireball. They always remind me of Pimento Stuffed Olives. This section is relatively easy, although there's always the danger of falling into a bottomless pit. I forgot where I was going and went the wrong way here, but I remembered before I got too far. It's important to be on the upper level to avoid the glow globes, and because the bottom level doesn't go where we need to be. The middle level works, but you'll likely take some damage. Bug Eyes are probably my favourite enemy, because they provide a reasonable challenge while not being too irritating. Here we pick up the Corkscrew, a weapon upgrade that finally lets us take on those Glow Globes. It's not an obvious advantage against other enemy types, but I do find it seems to help a bit. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe it's actually possible to complete the game without acquiring the Corkscrew, although it would be much more difficult. As you'll have noticed, this level requires a bit of backtracking, and that is going to be an ongoing theme to a certain degree. There are some shortcuts, but sometimes the only way forward is the way you came. And now it's time to take that lower path that I avoided before. If you were watching carefully, you may have seen that it led to a door, and that door is one of those shortcuts. Jumping in confined spaces like this is a little different to jumping normally, as you won't stay in the air as long, but for small gaps it's not a big deal. You might have noticed that when I hit 100,000 points there, I instantly shot to around 130,000. That's because I already had the maximum number of lives, so I couldn't be awarded an additional one. In this section, it's important to watch for those half-missing tiles. They're actually holes, and you will fall through them and die. The cracked tiles, however, are solid. I might have spent too long here trying to avoid taking any damage, but it pays to be cautious when you can. Approaching the end of the level now, we pick up the boots, which, unlike the corkscrew, are essential, but I'll leave it till the next episode to demonstrate their effect.